Yes, crumb cube became cucumber. I said it was a fruit, and it is a fruit, isn't it, Susie? I mean, it, it, it is, it, yeah, I know it's possible. Why is it, it a fruit? It's a long green yeah. skin fruit. Well, it comes from the gourd family, and yeah. that includes, as well as marrows and squashes, it includes um, melons. Oh, <laughs> does it? Doesn't taste like a fruit. Doesn't no. Tomatoes, we all know they're fruits. Yeah. Yeah. They're fruits, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think somebody fruit. decided, well, let's call it a fruit. I think. Yeah, we'll Should call go it a into fruit. a Des smoothie. Arbitrarily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like that, a cucumber smoothie, would you? Oh, no. No, we won't have that. What are we waffling on about? It's 50 54, <laughs> 50 54 this game. Countdown gets to you that way. I know it does, it's beginning to get to me. <laughs> um, it's a tight game. Daniel's slightly behind against our challenger. And Dan, it's now your letters. A consonant, please. Thank you, Dan. D. And a vowel. A. And a consonant. T. And a vowel. Hooray! E. A consonant. Q. And a better one. Mm -hmm. D. And a vowel. I. A consonant. V. <laughs> and a final consonant. And S. Right, starting with the clock. Um, Kath, I think we'll start with you this time. Seven. Good. Dan. Seven, but I haven't written it down. Well, you better go first, young Dan. Datives. Datives. Mm. And Kath? And datives. Datives. Now, this mm. is the sort of uh, Latin. Is it Latin? It is, yeah. It's a case. I don't like it, I have to say, but it doesn't specify that it's a mass noun in the dictionary, so we have to allow it. It's a noun in the dative case, but normally you would talk about the dative. It's in the dative. But, um, but it's absolutely fine according to the dictionary, yeah. so... Like no problem. A dative, it's a dative case in German. If you um, give something to somebody and they're receiving it, it's very confusing, then that's, uh, the, the recipient is in the dative case. It's right. just a grammatical... Oh, I remember it vaguely from Latin, school. with the ablative yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, accusative yeah. and all that stuff. But yeah. it was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, right. Well, you're still uh, slightly ahead, Kath, uh, with those sevens. And it's now your letters, my darling. Constant, please, Carol. Thank you. T. And another. R. And another. G. And a vowel, please. A. And another. E. And another. U. Consonant. L. And another. D. And another consonant, please. And that, Kath, is S. OK, here we go. Daniel, first this time? Seven. Seven. Kath? Six. Ah, six for you, Kath. Here we go. Guards. Guards. And seven. Sugared. Sugared. Very good. Sugars there is a verb. Sugared. Very good indeed. Yep. No Sugared as in sweetened. Yes. Yes. Yep. Could have followed up the guards theme and had saluted for seven as well, but yes. uh, seven. Very good. Seven wins it there for, uh, for Dan. So we have a score of 64 for the champ, 61. He's just pulled slightly ahead once again, our five times winner. Uh, and Daniel, it's the last letters game of the afternoon, and they come from you, sir. A consonant, please. Thank you. R. And a vowel. I. A consonant. N. And a vowel. Oh, sorry. How stupid am I? You. A consonant this time, please, Carol. Well, I wonder what that could be. And it's an S. <laughs> and a vowel. E. A consonant. <laughs> M. Another consonant. R. And a final consonant, please. And a consonant, thanks, Dan. And N. OK, starting that clock.
Kath, your turn first. Seven. Seven. Dan. Just a six. Just a six this time. Six for you, Dan. Minors. Minors. And seven. Insurer. Insurer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Insurer. Very good. Philip. You could have had the slightly distasteful runnier, but uh, that's, that's still a seven, so seven's pretty good. So Insurer wins it. So the scores are 64 for Dan. You pulled ahead again, Kath, with 68. What a match this is. Good, excellent. So it's time for our final numbers game of the afternoon. Ready, Carol? Yes, I'm Here ready. Here comes Kath. One larger and five smaller again, please, Carol. Okay, I'm going to go for this one. There we go. The numbers then for both of you this time are 10, 4 and 2, 7 and 7 and 25 and a target of 397. Yes, 397. Okay, Kath. Three nine six. One away, Dan. Three nine seven. Three nine seven. <laughs> Sporting two, this two. Oh, go on then, Dan. Um, two times seven. Two seven to fourteen. Added to the twenty-five is thirty-nine. Oh gosh, this is going to be complicated. Yes. 30. Sorry. Oh, I see. Yes. Times by ten is three ninety. Very good. And add the remaining seven. And add on the other seven. Three nine seven. <laughs> So 74, 68, ladies and gentlemen, we had one of those nice moments on Countdown where we have a crucial Countdown conundrum. So can you put your fingers on the buzzers? Can we, we dim the lights, don't we, Carol, for these situations? Very important to do that, of course. So, ladies and gentlemen, here comes today's crucial Countdown conundrum. Dan. Unnerving. Let's take a check. <laughs> very good, very good. What a terrific game. So our champion for the sixth time in a row is Daniel Peake. Well done, Dan. Excellent.